Hi, I'm Larry Fast, and you're watching HD Tracks Master Musicians. Uh, there's not a specific date with synthesizers, it was kind of a melding of my uh, electronic hobby nerdiness as a really little kid. I mean, I started out quite early with wiring circuits and light bulbs and things, which evolved into hi-fi, tape recording, and audio, and that was running concurrently with the music education. And there was a point where I realized that there was this discipline, which was quite early on, oscillators, filters, sounds that were made electronically. And uh, I started dabbling with that. I was One of the first things I did was hack a Morse code practice oscillator when I was in grade school, realizing I could change the pitch on it by changing the resistors. So I kind of edged into this as it was becoming uh, a discipline as people like Dr. Robert Moog were creating commercial entities to build synthesizers and uh, I didn't have the money initially so I used my, my hobbyist and electronic skills to build what I needed. One of the reasons that I wanted to uh, remaster and reissue these albums was that the technology has been moving on constantly since they were recorded. There are certain constants uh, that the uh, analog recording at the time that the albums were made in the, the 70s and, and onward was uh, really reaching quite a peak. So that was about as good as it could get, but there wasn't any way to bring it out to the public. One of the exciting things was when the CDs came in in the early mid 80s. Uh, I saw a better way to distribute, and we went back and revisited those analog recordings in the 80s and then again in the 90s. But at that time, the best uh, replication masters that could be made were sampled at 44 1 16 bit, and it was a stretch to get good quality then. It was very expensive. We did the best we could at that time. But things have moved on enormously since then. There's such high quality converters available, um, better and more uh, uh, sophisticated ways to uh, manage the older tapes and bring back little nuances that were hidden in there. Uh, so that doing these high bit, high sample rate transfers brought out subtleties and detailing that uh, frankly I had forgotten were on the original recordings. The albums were all recorded analog, of course. The first one was done 16 track, 2 inch, and then mixed to stereo, and quad, uh, and encoded quad. And then the following ones, by then the, the quad uh, fad of that era had passed, resurfaces every couple of years, a few decades. But uh, they were recorded 24 track and mixed to 2 track analog. Uh, those tapes were in remarkably good shape and everything from the LPs, cassettes, 8 tracks, early CDs, and later CDs had been derived from those. But for this series, we went back to the original tapes, pulled them out, cleaned them up, did a little bit of uh, the uh, maintenance that needs to be done after a couple of decades, and they were transferred at 24 bit 192 kilohertz uh, to new digital clean masters, and these had been derived from that. A little bit of tweaking, there was uh, some mastering involved, but for the most part, they are very faithful and accurate reproductions of what the original studio mixes were as far back as 1975 with this first series, all through the 70s. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that I was uh, almost crushed about when I first started recording was that the studio masters, even in analog, had a terrific dynamic range, thunderous bass, uh, absolutely brilliant high frequencies. When it came time to cut the LP, the vinyl, initially, um, the hard reality of the physical limitations of vinyl were impressed on me by the mastering engineers. Those were uh, Bob Ludwig and George Marino on those early albums. And they are artisans themselves, but part of the art that I watched with them working was how could they shoehorn what I was giving them on the analog tapes into these limited little groups. Those limitations don't exist now, so even with an analog source, uh, going to HD is just terrific. And some of the later recordings that I have 
which goes straight uh, to 24-bit digital synthesis right out of the box. Um, there's no reason why they shouldn't be heard by the listening public that way. Working with Peter Gabriel was really quite an amazing experience and it went on for about a decade. So it covered all aspects, including, of course, making the records and, uh, and then the live performance. And uh, that was a real challenge as the equipment was a little more primitive. But working with Peter creatively, of all the people that I worked with, uh, was probably the most uh, challenging in a good sense in that Peter wasn't beholden to the limitations and we've always done it this way, this is how we make a record aspects that uh, a lot of other artists uh, do. Peter wasn't afraid to challenge the record label or anybody who expected him to be a certain kind of pop or rock star. So that was both liberating and also challenging because he'd come up with ideas that I had never thought of or never encountered on any other projects that he wanted to try out. And it was just fun chasing those things down. Uh, I'm always working on new material and I have enormous amounts of uh, clips and notations. Uh, sometimes it's written down on paper, sometimes it's a little audio clip of something that uh, I would like to explore further. I've got uh, at least one project that is fairly far along. It's, it's far from complete, but it's well into it. It's sort of a revisiting of the, the switched on approach, taking a classical piece and re envisioning it in electronics. Uh, that one's been, as I've found the time to work on it over the last uh, approximately a year, I've kind of worked a little bit more on it, uh, and then it goes back on the shelf when I'm doing other things. Um, and I have uh, two other ones mapped out, so there absolutely will be new material. I've just learned over the years, I don't want to put an end date on it because I always end up disappointing uh, fans who are waiting for a new synergy project because other things come up.